All right, so we spent a couple of days looking at slope intercept form. Now we're gonna move on to point slope form. So this is still a linear equation, right? So we're still having x raised to the first power, except for it allows us to graph lines when I don't maybe know the y-intercept. Maybe the y-intercept isn't very nice, All right? So point slope form kind of in general is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So a couple of things to keep in mind here right? M is still my slope, right? And then I have this kind of x1, y1, which is a point on the line, All right? So I'm going to use that to kind of talk about how to graph those, but it gives me just any point on the line and the slope, and I can have the equation ready, All right? So if I look at, you know, an example, of maybe you're writing one of these. So you have a couple different ways that you'll be asked to write the equation. One, you might be given a point and a slope. So like in this case, I have it goes through that point three, negative five, and I have a slope of three halves. I can just plug things into the equation, right? I could label this as kind of x1, y1, because that's my point, um, because that x and y just by themselves are always gonna be there. So I just start plugging things in and say, well, so y minus y1, so y minus negative five is equal to m three halves times x minus x1 and then so when i look at this right i may i might accept this answer but if you're looking at multiple choice you need to simplify this a little bit right so if i subtract a negative i'm i i really take that as i'm adding right so i'd say y plus five equals three halves times x minus three and there is my equation so that's one way you could talk about writing those equations, right? If they just give you the point and the slope. The other way is it's, they might give you two points, right? So I can use either one of those points when I write it, but I still need to find my slope. So remember that you have that slope formula, right? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And so I want to find the slope first. So again, I'm going to do that kind of thing where I label here just to kind of help me keep track of things. Right, and plug those values in. So I say, well, m is equal to negative three minus four over negative two minus one. So if you look there, negative three minus four, give me a negative seven, and negative two minus one, give me a negative three. And then just to kind of simplify that, right? I know a negative divided by a negative is gonna give me a positive. So my slope is gonna be seven thirds. All right, so I can use that. And now I need to decide what point am I gonna use. Um, for simplicity's sake, right, I usually just use my first point, right? That's what I've already labeled as x1, y1, so it's not gonna confuse me. Um, multiple choice questions are typically gonna use that first point. You could use the second one if you wanted to, but why not just use the first one, right? So I go back to my general form and say, well, y minus y1, right? So y minus four equals, and then I want to use my slope that I just found, so 7 thirds, x minus x1, so x minus 1, and there is my equation, All right? So it's two different ways you'll be asked to, to write those equations. So, but what happens when, some, when they ask you to graph the equations? So you need to know a couple of things, right? You need to know what's my point, And what is the slope? So slope's easy to find. Slope is always the one that's kind of in front of the x, right? So if I look at this first example, my slope is there, right? So I know that m is equal to 2 thirds. And then my point, I need to draw out of what's here and what's here, right? So I'm always going to have a coordinate point, right? So I look at the x side first for my x value. So my x value is going to be 2. So good thing to keep in mind is it's always gonna be the opposite sign when you pull it out, all right? So x value is two, if I have y minus one, that means the y value of the point is gonna be one. So when I go to graph this, I'm gonna start here, right? I'm gonna plot that point and start there. So they go over two on the x and then up one, I end up there. 
now, very similarly to what I did with slope intercept form, I'm going to use my slope to find the next point. All right, so I'm going to go up one, two, over one, two, three, and I get my second point. And so I can connect those dots, and I have my line. Okay. Just so we'll look at one more example. So if I look here, right, I know my slope is what's in front of the x, so there's my m. And then I want to look and say, well, I have this plus 3 and this minus 2. So what is my point here? All right? We're still going to be an x, y. So look here, x minus 2 means opposite sign, right? So x value is 2. And since I have y plus 3, make the opposite sign so my point is actually minus 3. All right? So if I look at this and graph, I'm going to start here still, right? So I plot that point at 2, negative 3, I have a point. And if my slope is negative 1 half, go down 1 and over 2 to the right, connecting those points. And then I have the graph of that. So those would be kind of the questions you're asked today, right? Writing the equation or graphing them. Uh, so you may go ahead and get started on that assignment.